Alrighty, welcome back to Final Fantathon, our quest to casually let's play every single mainline Final Fantasy game, and some bonuses as well. It is so good to have everyone here. I am so excited to play more Final Fantasy VI. Before we get into it, though, we got something we gotta talk about real quick. Uh, <laughs> so sit back, grab some popcorn. It's gonna be a minute. So... Last week, we did the Zozo uh, clock puzzle. And before I talk about this, I want to say I really loved the Zozo clock puzzle. This isn't a rant against the Zozo clock puzzle, okay? It was a great puzzle. I liked how it slowly fed you information as you went through the, the town. I like how the main gimmick wasn't really told to you. You had to figure it out for yourself. Um, and yeah, like the whole puzzle was great, okay? It's not, I'm not saying it was bad. But there was one particular clue that made no sense at all. And we decided that it probably, uh, that it probably was like either they screwed up and didn't really think about how it affected the rest of the puzzle, or it was some kind of mistranslation. Someone told us it wasn't a mistranslation, but uh, it could have been like something going on with that, right? So, let me catch you up to speed if you weren't there, or if, because we kind of figured it out as we went, and it might have been a little bit confusing. So, I wrote everything down to make it a bit easier to understand. So, if I flip over here. So, Here's, this is basically the puzzle, okay? The main gimmick is that... Let me zoom in because it's like really... Can I... Okay. So, the main gimmick is that everyone is lying, right? So that's the, that's the general... I spelled lying wrong? Give me a break. Everyone, <laughs> everyone is lying. I wrote this at like 1 o'clock last night. Everyone is lying is the main gimmick. So, you're trying to figure out the hours, the minutes, and the seconds. Okay? So, there's the room with the bunch of guys that, like, walk behind each other, like the big Congo line of guys. That's where you figure out the hour. They all tell you different hour times, and you basically just have to figure out which hour they're not saying. So, in that room, you figure out that the hour is six. Okay? Then... One of the first guys you talks to, uh, that you talk to, gives you the minutes. He says, that clock doesn't have a minute hand, and it never points to the right time anyway. So what you're supposed to get is that the minute, it does have a minute hand, it only has a minute hand, and it does point to the right time. And the clock points to two, which means the minutes are ten. Okay? So we got that so far. So the hour is six. And the minutes are 10, okay? Then you have to figure out what the seconds are. And the seconds are done differently because there's three different NPCs that give you hints about the seconds. And they're scattered around. It's not just one room, but they're scattered around the, the level. So you have to go around and find these three NPCs. The first NPC tells you that the second hand on his watch is pointing at 30. So that tells you that it's not 30, okay? with me so far because he's lying so the second hand is not pointing at 30 so it's not 30 that that's the first okay the second guy says they're divisible by 20 which means they're not divisible by 20 okay we got that so far so the possible answers that the game gives you are 10 20 30 40 and 50 we already know it's not 30 so we can cross off that where's the isn't there like a strike through? Oh, whatever, we'll just do this. It's not 30. And we know they're not divisible by 20. So it's not 20 and it's not 40. Okay? So this leaves us with two potential answers. 10 and 50. Okay? And there's one NPC left. The final NPC tells you his watch's second hand is pointing at the four. Which means nothing to us. 
right? Because this guy said, the second hand on my watch is pointing at 30. This guy says, the second hand is pointing to 4. So if we say, okay, that means 40, or 20, rather, 20 is already crossed off. So that doesn't give us any information. We still don't know if it's 10 or 50. Okay? So we just decided it's either a mistranslation or they just screwed up and it's just a 50-50 throw. Who knows, right? And we moved on. So I got a couple comments on the episode where I where we did this. Uh, one of them was from Blind Gamer. Shoutouts to him. Uh, the other people that commented this, thank you very much for commenting this. So they said that potentially what they were going for was the watch's second hand is pointing at the four. The opposite of four on a clock face, if you're looking at a clock and, a, and it's pointing at four, the opposite, the other side of the clock is 10. So if it were pointing at the opposite of four, It'd be pointing at 10, which would mean 50. Now, that's better than what we came up with. Let me tell you all the reasons why that's stupid. <laughs> okay? If that's what they were going for. Let me tell you all the reasons why that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. First of all, that's not even a lie. That's just the opposite of four. The rest of the people lie. Why would we think that we're looking for the opposite of four? We're not, none of the other people were looking for the opposite. We're looking at them lying. So that makes no sense whatsoever, first of all. Second of all, this clue is the exact same as this clue. So why would you think the second hand on my watch is pointing at 30? That means that it's not 30. But then when you read second hand is pointing at four, you think, okay, what's the opposite of four? Like that makes no sense. It, these clues are identical. So why would you do two different solutions for those two clues, right? That makes no sense. Thirdly, if the answer to this clue is seconds are 50, if that's what we're going with, then these two clues mean nothing at all. Like, because we already got the answer. So, what are those two clues for? Right? So, either those are just bait clues, or they screwed up. So, I like the idea that maybe that's what they were going for. But if it was, it's still the worst clue ever. Like, they still screwed up big time. It's still a stupid clue. The rest of the puzzle's great. But this one clue is bad. <laughs> so that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for bringing that up because it's very interesting. But even if that's what they were going for, that's like the stupidest crap ever. And yeah, they blew it. If, if I made a mod of the game where I fixed that, that clue, I would just have it say the seconds are 10. That's... He would have just said, the seconds are 10. Then you cross off 10, you know it's 50, you know, good to go. But, they big blew it. <laughs> so, just wanted to clear that up because it's interesting. And it's interesting that that does work. Like, the opposite of 4 on a clock face is 50, but, yeah. It's bad. It's bad and it should feel bad. Zozo was really cool. My only complaint was that there were just so many encounters, but that's true of all the old Final Fantasy games. It's always that way. Until we get to seven, you just gotta deal with really high encounter rates. But like, I really wish when they had some kind of puzzle, they at least, uh, they at least like lowered the encounter rate a bit. How do we get out of here? I don't even remember. Yep, 
Yeah, no, I still think the puzzle was pretty good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I still think the puzzle was pretty good. It's just that last clue sucks. The last clue makes it a 50-50 when it shouldn't be. Why didn't I want to run from them? Because running sucks in this game. It takes forever. The characters only run one at a time. The guy who tells you that the seconds are 30 doesn't say that his watch is pointing at it? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> like, we're supposed to take that the... Since the watch is pointing at it, that means you're supposed to take the opposite. I guess if you think about it, man, that would... Talk about asking a lot. Could you imagine if the, the idea was like, the one guy says the time is 30, so you're supposed to decide the time isn't 30. But then the second guy says the watch is pointing at 4, and that's supposed to tell you the you're supposed to take the opposite of what it's pointing at. Like, what? <laughs> that's... That's really stretching at that point. Holy cow. <laughs> and again, it's still a bad puzzle, even if that is what the answer is, because it makes the other two clues moot, which is not a good not good puzzle design. You don't have one clue solve the whole thing and then have other clues that give you information about nothing. Like, that's not how you do a puzzle. Or rather, they do give you information towards the puzzle, but then the one just solves the whole thing. Like, it doesn't make any sense. What happened? The espers flew off together. Then the Empire citizens ran off as though they were terrified. Because they were. Which way did the espers go? Toward the capital. Vector. Yeah, you could do smoke bombs, that's true. Although, who wants to buy a ton of smoke bombs just to answer the puzzle? <laughs> We're almost at Vector. There, what's that? Oh, no. I don't think he was backseating. He was just saying, I could. What's wrong, Terra? I can feel it. It's coming closer and closer. What do you mean you can feel it? It was glowing. What's that? It can't be. An Esper? It's coming! Watch out, Terra! It's Bam Blam. What was that? Setzer, get down! <laughs> Locke's just gonna save everyone. Gulp Espers? Where are they going? They were mad. They seemed... Angry. No. Stop. Please. Don't go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please. Don't go. Forget what? Forget that. What's with this vibration? Is it from the Espers? Um. Setzer. Okay. It's just a, is this just a blank box I have to skip through? That's weird. I've lost control! It's just like a blank... There was a blank uh, text box I had to get through. Oh, we're fault. We're mayday, mayday! Uh, don't fly over the ocean. That's not where we want to land. Oh man, that mode seven into the ground. How's it going, Teach? How's it going, Shahir? How's it going, Mike? How's it going, MX? Good to see you guys. The mode seven is too powerful. I don't know, it looks pretty intact to me. I pressed the button and he like immediately woke up.
don't do a thing. Do I still have my party? Yeah. Erg, for the time being, I don't own the skies. So what, we're just... We're just walking out? Where are we? Oh, we're on the third continent. Do we need to change anything? I don't think so. I don't think we... This Atma weapon is so weird. Because, like... I just realized, you can't... Huh. You can't one-hand the apple weapon. Like, even if you have the thing equipped, it doesn't let you. really strange. I guess I might as well give you something else. I could give you a jump. Double Tempests? What the? <laughs> what the? What, what happened to my audio for a second? Something weird's going on with my... Something. One of my splitters or something. You already have everything learned from Kieran. Yeah, there's something weird going on. I'm gonna have to unplug and replug everything in, just like I did last week. Not sure what's up with that, but whenever I reset everything, it works fine, so I don't know. Maybe like my Frame Meister's just on all week and then it just needs a reset. I don't know. I'm used to doing everything through the OSSC, but I do the Super Nintendo through the Frame Meister because it's a bit better at handling the Super Nintendo. So I feel like it's something to do with the Frame Meister because everything else is the same as it always is. I never have any issues. Uh, Bio Break Doom. HP up. I wouldn't mind you getting life. I'll give you that. You have Carbuncle. Still have a lot to learn. You have Unicorn. You have Phantom. Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna reset everything. I, I'll reset my... I'll probably reset my splitter too, just to be safe. I feel like it's definitely the Frame Meister though, because everything else is normal to what my normal setup is. But... Alright, let's see if that fixed it. 
Mike, thank you so much for the bits. Shahir, thank you for the three months. Aaron, thank you so much for the 777 bits. Jason, thank you for the 10 months. Bubbly, thank you for the 21 months. Oh, I heard it again. Hmm. Maybe I should check the... think there's anything else it could be. Wait, what happened? Hello? Yo, bro, they give me the raid. What do you mean, unsupported signal? There it goes. Alright, let's let it sit here for a second. Uh, we just opened the door to the espers. play some of these. While we wait. Yeah, I don't like to summarize because people normally watch them in a row, so... Last week on Final Fantasy VI, the gang found out, found the door to the Espers. Something came out, and it wasn't happy. Alright. 
I think we're good now. I'm not hearing any issues, so... Let's continue. Ralph! I missed you, Ralph. How you been? Holy cow, Lock. The Atma weapon mixed with the fight does more damage thing. Tara's back row because she... Well, actually, I think... I don't know if she has a... She had a mace at one point. But I think she has a sword now. I like that money amount. <laughs> Tara's picture just cracks me up every time. She's always just like, What do you want? <laughs> what do you want now? Look what the Empire's done to it! So we've, had, we've been here before, because I visited it before. I'm wondering if now I need to... Here's that girl running away from that... <laughs> from that guard. I wonder if we need to figure out a way to fix our airship now, or if we're just passing through. Scram! Any secrets back here? Pretty sure we already checked all these weapons and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything too, uh... Interesting here. I might want to just pass through. It might be here just to give you a rest point. Let's see what's up here. The Jokers. I still need to kind of play around with Terra's morph a bit because I'm still not sure how it works. Trek. Is there something over here? <laughs> Is that candy? Oh, those are those are kind of spooky. some stuff. It's going to be a while until he learns life, though. And I want him to learn life. I don't think there's anything here. I think it's a giant mountain. Ah, my ears! Those look like flying lobster demons. They look like a boss from Pikmin or something. Also on Porsche, this is the SNES version. If you type exclamation mark Phantathon in the chat, you can see all the versions of all the games we're playing. But, uh, we're playing all the original NA versions, so if you know what that is, that's what we're playing. I 
just walk around the world map all day, I swear. <laughs> Terra Siege just too good. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen enough about um, Morph yet to understand anything about it. It seems to pop up at random, and the only time I ever used it, it went away like a second later. I have found a desert. Let's give it a shot around with it. Alright. Fight. She did some good damage. Wait. Her bar is going down instead of up. Holy... I don't know if they were just weak against that, or if... Terra was super strong. So I don't know why her morph, like, disappeared that one time. Maybe I accidentally hit Robert or something. Because obviously it only goes away over time. Maybe if she gets hit, it goes away or something? Who knows? Oh, she has it again. It also seems like she just gets her turn, like, immediately when she's in Morph. <laughs> That'd be funny if Morph had, like, a, a version that was similar to... Gilgamesh's uh, Excalibur, where like every once in a while she just turns into a frog or something. Like, whoops. Wrong one. This house looked like it was in much worse shape on the outside. What on earth? I could go back to the I can't. So I could go back to the the lab. Yeah, it's definitely similar to Trance. I would almost say that might have been their idea behind Trance. What's going on? <laughs> Everyone's confused. I don't know what to tell you. Your town's on fire. Put it out. What are you talking about? Talking with espers? Wait, that's all Bannon has to say to us? The Emperor is expecting you this way. Maybe we're just gonna go talk to him. Hey man. Stuff went down. We've lost our will to fight. <laughs> Yikes. I've lost my will to fight. The Emperor has had a change of heart. Zid! Well, he did say he was going to talk to him. The Espers came to save their friends. When they learned the others had perished, they went berserk and trashed the town. Never will I forget their shrieks of rage. We're hanging up our weapons and armor for good. Well, that was easy. We won, boys. The Emperor has been defeated. The power of those Espers. I had no idea. They'll shred the world. We must get 
them to understand that we are no longer at war. No human's going to make them sit down and listen. But for now, my friends, let us feast and rejoice! Okay, I'm not buying that for a second. There's some people here who'd prefer to keep fighting. Please, before we dine, talk to as many soldiers as you can. Make them understand. Why do I have to do it? Please talk to as many soldiers as you can. You have four minutes until dinner. Why do I have to do it? Aren't you the Emperor? Shouldn't you talk to him? Wouldn't it mean infinitely more from you? <laughs> I just have to talk to as many soldiers as possible, I guess. This is very similar to a mini game in uh, Evil Land 2. I wonder if that's where they got the idea. Oh. Oh, what the? I'll talk some sense into you! <laughs> Bosh lives! I oppose peace. I don't care what it is. I, if it's peace, I don't like it. I'm Captain Bosch of Damascus. Can you move? Is this an entrance to something? Can you move? Thank you. I feel like this isn't working. They're all just yelling at... Well, some of them are. You deserve a thrashing! How's it going, Aaron? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm slightly suspicious, <laughs> to say the least. Given that, uh, oh crap, how do I get back? Oh, there it is. Yes, I did figure out the clock puzzle without help. But we talked more about the clock puzzle this morning, because... Memes. <laughs> Girl, how dare they put me in a place like this? I don't believe this. Kevka's lost his mind. Not that he ever had it to begin with. What a bore. that in a second. I'm on the clock. I think I talked to everyone. Because this goes back up here. It's these guys. 
Hi. I don't have time to fight you. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty strong. Oh, apparently that counted. Okay. That evening, the banquet with the Emperor took place. This way, please. Oh, look at that. Look at those lobsters. Everyone gets a lobster. You can count me in as a returner. Well, what's the point of the re returners at this point, if the Empire's good? Imagine, all of us here together sharing a meal. First, we must have a toast. To the Empire, to the returners, to our hometowns. Well then, to our hometowns. As you know, Kefka's in jail for war crimes. What shall we do with him? <laughs> Leave him in jail. Pardon him. Execute him. Yep. Hmm, well, let's let him stew in his cell for a while. Then we'll decide what to do. Kill the clown. I truly apologize about the poisoning of Doma. No one dreamed Kefka would use poison. Apologize again. I'm so terribly sorry. Kefka's being severely punished, and we're cleaning up the poison. By the way, with regard to General Celeste... Celeste is one of us. Kefka was lying. General Celeste realized the war was stupid before anyone else. That's why she joined the Returners. Any other questions for me? Why'd we have to talk to your men? That, that's my question. <laughs> I feel like I should ask why you started the war, though. That'd be a better exposition. But this is my true question. Actually, I kind of want to ask him why do you want peace now, because it would give me better insight as to whether or not he's lying. I feel we need each other's help at this time. With your permission, I'd like to talk about the espers. One more question. My desire for power got the best of me. Now I've come to my senses. I don't know. That, that seems a bit... shallow. Some of my men refused to embrace peace. I felt they'd understand if they actually met you face to face. That's a lie. My empire's been decimated by the espers that emerged from the sealed gate. They're acting spiteful. Unless they're stopped, they'll rip the world asunder. But you unleash their power! After the espers went on their rampage, I knew I couldn't go on with my war. I asked myself why I had started it in the first place. By the way, about those questions you asked me, which did you ask first? What? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> what, is this some kind of test? Right. Anyway, more than anything, I want peace. That's my true dream. I want you to understand that. You seem a bit tired. Care for a rest break? I actually asked for a break because I thought maybe Sid was like taking us aside to tell us something, but he's not. He's just sitting there. Wait, so what? I just sit back down? We want to test your strength. Won't you fight with us for a couple of minutes? Bro, we're having dinner! Sure. <laughs> we'll just fight during dinner. Why not? Should be like a lobster in the background. Well, you're dead now. You're about to get mega zapped. Oh, she didn't. She reverted. That's so weird. It's almost like if too many other people go, it screws it. I wonder if the game being inactive kind of makes Morph a lot worse. 
because her bar is like always going down. Just as we thought. Alright. I guess we just sit back down now. Just wanted to fight your men real quick. Back to dinner. Is there anything you wish to hear me say? You suck. That your war is truly over. I understand. I've ordered this war to be over. Now I must ask for a favor. Why would we give you a favor? After they devastated my empire, the Espers headed northward toward Crescent Island. They must be found! We must tell them we're no longer their enemy. After all that I have put them through, it is up to me to set things right. That is why. I need to borrow Terra's power. First of all... We can't do that. <laughs> Only Terra can bridge the gap between Esper and Human. We must make for Crescent Island aboard the freighter from Albrook. Will you accompany me? No. We cannot simply ignore the espers! Please come with me! No. <laughs> I'll have my finest warrior accompany us, General Leo! I'm General Leo, nice to meet you. You! Your scion, liege to the King of Doma! Please forgive me for not being there to stop Kefka. That wasn't your fault. I'll be waiting for you in Albrook. We must find the Espers and come to terms with them. You are our last hope! If Terra goes, I'll go. Lock, thank you. The rest of you wait here. I smell a rat. Then why are we going? Agreed. It's hard to trust the emperor, emperor just like that. At least our party isn't stupid. We'll stay here and investigate. Please do. Leave no stone unturned. Right. And you be careful. I got some stuff. Green beret. Raises fight and magic damage. I wonder if that's better than the Atlas armlet. How's it going, soldier? Evades back attack and pincer attack. That's cool. Raises preemptive attack rate. Well, now that's kind of funny. I wonder if raising the preemptive attack is kind of the same as evading those attacks. If you get more preemptive attacks, then you would think you'd get less of those. But this might, like, 100% keep them from ever happening. Let's go Nidub. I'm glad that our party isn't like, sure, we'll go. Sounds cool. Like, <laughs> like they're not idiots. A message from the Emperor. Because you were able to talk to so many soldiers, you are to be rewarded as follows. Imperial troops have withdrawn from South Figaro. In addition, our troops have also pulled out of Doma. We hereby give you the right to take any weapons you desire from the Imperial base to the east, near the sealed gate. And this is from the Emperor himself. Tin... Tin... bar? Sounds like a candy bar. Wait, so I wonder what the soldiers, uh... pulling out even means. Albrook's a port to the south of the Empire. A Magitek armor hauling ship plies the waters between. There in Crescent Island, you'll penetrate the Imperial base. You deal with the Espers. Re 
recovers HP with each step. That's actually really cool. Wait, what does uh, our boy have to say? Could Gestal have meant such a thing? Team up with the Empire to track down an Esper? Hmm. That's, <laughs> that's all he's going to say. Hmm. Up. Well, I hope you don't die. Okay, so I believe the port is down there, but I'm going to go past the port and go to the... Uh, the base, because I want to see what weapons there are. Also, we're just going to let Locke and Terra go alone, I guess. I mean, it makes sense. They're staying back. Although, how many people do you need to stay back to investigate? You could have just left, like, three or four people and taken a full crew. We'll just let Locke and Terra get brutally murdered by the Empire on their own. I guess. I got some peeps to thank. Place, place, who's gonna rock the place? Place, place, who's gonna rock the place? Place, place, who's gonna rock the place? And no one can touch this. Yo, Snipes with the 47 months. Enjoy your cursed Sonic GIF. laugh when there's like a demon in here or something. Maybe I should save. <laughs> this way is like a trap. I mean, it, I'm guessing it's not because we still got to go on the ship with them, but it's supposed to be Cat Spell. That makes sense. I kind of like this name better, though. Old Bento, thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate it, man. And Soldier, thank you so much for the thousand bits as well. And Von Gaia, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back, dude. And Forrest with the 11 months, too. Woo! Alright, here's, uh, here's the room that we wanted in so bad before. Now to finally see what it is. Cherub Down. Is that like a better Phoenix Down? Oh! It's a relic that gives you permafloat. That's neat. One gill, two gill, three gill. X potion. 8,000 GP. Ether. Cure ring. Ooh, auto regen. Auto Ronald. Ronald ring. Let's go. Bat Guard, I just got one of those. Elixir, that's nice. Running Shoes. 20,000 GP! Wall Ring, I already had one. 13,000! Really, just a lot of money. A lot of money and two good relics. And then a bunch of stuff I already had. <laughs> Arrest that man. Well, that was neat. Yeah, there were no weapons, by the way, except the flame saber that was kind of hidden. By weapons, they meant money. Money and rings. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping for another Shinryu. Go ahead, you can take those weapons. Rings are weapons. We don't talk about that. Got 
Give me a nice little Bismarck. Near home. Flying whale. Wow. Zero damage. Lil Ryu? Is that like his rapper name? <laughs> that was Leviathan if Leviathan was a whale. 